Atlas Rotters, Bakatawa inside him, Bakatawa with the pace, the strength, the power, he turns and he grinds it. The referee for this one, very experienced indeed, his 90th test for Wayne Barnes. Well, Scotland hoping to continue this excellent run and become the first Scottish side since 1990 to win you six matches up. in a row. No Bamba. Offside. So many ball carriers in this French side and the, no the Scotland no defence forced offside. Here is Fiku. Bakatawa. Oh, he could be in here, Bakatawa. He stretches out an arm, tries to get the own player, Kinghorn. He's lightning quick. He's dynamic too. And he might just have had an arm flexible enough to get to the ball. OK, it's no try, fellas, because he's not holding the ball, but it's offside, no advantage, OK? Dupont, oh, this is the pass behind Matthew Jalibert, puts the whole back line under pressure. Off goes Thomas Ramos, sees a whole brilliant work by the fullback. Gosh, he got a long distance there. And now suddenly it's Scotland on the back foot. All came off a terrible pass. Tackle and get out of there! And well, here they are again inside the 22. And when they visit here, they normally do something. They get some points. Camille Shah. Gregory Aldrich actually could have qualified for Scotland. He's already scored three tries and against away. Scotland. No, no, still not Two and six there. minutes off the bench in the Six Nations. Back it goes to Jolly Bear. Are they going to get points again from a visit to the 22? And Jolly Bear's confidence just begins to grow another Great inch or two. That's the way to do it. That's what's it off. Price and one of the concerns was that you know these French players with a certain that's mentality that's that's might not have settled into the the Sean Edwards at the way they're buying into it. Off goes Duncan Weir and finds Stuart Hogg on his shoulder. Advantage coming Scotland's way yeah, again here. There's a big chunk of white shirts down this blind side. There was four of them. Price again for Ollie Kevill. Hard to miss with that bleached blonde barnet. Weir lashes one across to the far side and uh, the mark is taken by Jolly Bear but back they will come, not rolling away with the penalty infringement. And it's Rates, Bakatawa inside him, Bakatawa with the pace, the strength, the power, he turns and he grinds it. And the massive Fijian okay, Frenchman the gets to the line for France okay, at the start of this second half. It was Dash with a soup saw of panache to finish. Fraser Brown makes the tackle, Dupont. Pulls it in behind for Jalibert, and now he's back at tower again, just pops it off the floor to Ramos, showing great skill here, the French. Teddy Tomag, and he weave his way through, sets it for Dupont, now it's Bernard Leroux, here's Jalibert, wrapping on the outside of Scotland, they might have left a bit of space, back at tower and a man outside. Still a chance for Oli Boy, here's Ficou, Fraser Brown. Does really well there, and they're just trying to and let go. Bruise let the go ball six and seven. over the line through Aldrich. Olivon is there. Hamish Watson in front of him. All the way back it goes to Shelley Bear for Teddy Tomman. It's taken by Duhan van der Merva, and they can wipe away the sweat for the moment. Price. Duncan Taylor with the carry. They're so desperate to poach. And in the attempt to poach, 
they've given away the penalty. Now here is the opportunity to get the ball back down into that French corner and go for that line out again. This match should have been over. One line out far side. As you say, Dowie, easy throw to number two, down to Dupont, chip it out and get back to France. But oh no, oh no, as I say, oh no, it's oh no, no, no from Scotland. What have they done? Gregor Townsend must be horrified. They've kicked the ball dead and handed the victory to France.